had just a chill day at home by myself in ages so today is the day as usual we are starting off this beautiful morning a little late so i'm gonna make myself some brunch first before i get cooking this week's video is kindly sponsored by karma an all-inclusive shopping app and browser extension that helps you get any product you want at the best price Guys, I've been wanting to try this for ages and I finally, finally found it at my supermarket yesterday. This is the Golden Bakery Scone Loaf Limited Edition. This is what it looks like inside and I'm gonna try replicate this that they have on the front here. What do you guys think? For today's coffee, I want to try something different. I saw this online. You mix grape soda or like any fruit flavored soda with a shot of coffee. Sounds weird, but also sounds like it could be really good. So we are going to give this a try today. And I know that lately it's been hot. We had a bumpy ride. But if you give me I feel like this is a controversial one, but I kind of like it. I will be cooking Sunday breakfast. Just booked my flights to Melbourne. So it's guys the last time I visited Melbourne was probably 2014 so it's been like a good eight years and there's so many new cafes that I want to visit so Alina and I are gonna be flying down there next week we just finished sorting through our flights and accommodation mapped out all the places that we want to visit in Google Maps do you guys see how many pins there are now that that's done I need to do something that I've been putting off for two weeks and that is to get rid of this mattress it's been blocking my wardrobe door this whole time and I feel like this is a very inefficient way of accessing my clothes so I'm going to take some photos of this and attempt to sell it My listing is up. Really hope someone buys it soon because it's just taking up so much space in my bedroom at the moment. <laughs> it comes with this one internal tray and then also this wrap to put on top so I can cook two layers of stuff. That's so cool. So if you before we use this, we need to set it to 200 degrees for five minutes with nothing in it. I am about to head out for dinner with Rachel, just having a little snack here. But before I head out, I want to talk to you about Karma. It's an all-in-one shopping assistant and browser extension that helps you buy whatever products you want at the lowest possible price. You guys know I moved out this year and I feel like I've just been constantly spending money buying things for my apartment. But Karma has helped me save so much along the way and it really adds up, especially when it comes to buying appliances and electronics. So for example, this air fryer, I got for 20% off thanks to Karma. I have a new keyboard and mouse on the way for my iPad that I got for 30% off using Karma. How it works is you basically go to their site and download their free Chrome extension and Karma will start scanning the web for all available coupon codes. It'll apply the best code automatically at checkout to maximize your savings and you also get cash back every time you shop. If you're someone who likes to plan and organize your shopping like me, you can add the items that you want into wish lists. Karma will notify you in real time of any price drops or restock so you never miss out on the items that you want at the best possible prices. You guys can get Karma's free Chrome extension in time to shop spring sales by clicking the link down below. Hello! Oh God, it's been so long. Welcome so on my car! Oh, congratulations oh, for moving out! Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> I got all the dash cam. I was like, oh yeah, cool. How does it feel being the, the first person oh, that awesome. I pick I'm up so in my honest. car? <laughs> How is Navin here? Yeah. Does, do you have like a nav thing here? No, I'm just putting it oh my god, But it's, it's so, so annoying, it's right? Because so on your piece, you can't have it like here. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can't it just be like you're not allowed to touch yeah. your phone while yeah. you're driving? Rather than like you're not allowed to have it at all. 
Oh no, I'm blocking the road. I'm so sorry. Wait, can I pause? I think so. Oh my god, I feel so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> This is why I really want like a sorry indicator on the <laughs> on outside. The side. <laughs> it's just like sorry. Have it at the top and like make it spin. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm a pee plate. Yay, thank you. Maybe this because I was looking at a pond. Never considered looking at a house is until recently. And obviously they've increased a lot since COVID. Yeah, so you should have like oh. moved first. So you could be buying your second house now. You should have just closed my eyes and yeah. <laughs> My upstairs area is completely fine and untouched since we were only working on downstairs but no I had to move so many of my things upstairs because I was worried that they would get dirty so my um computer is now sitting over here in this tiny ratchet setup this is what I've been using all morning and then I also brought my air fryer upstairs because I was scared that it would get dirty and then just a whole lot of other random stuff piled everywhere also not sure if you guys noticed but my mattress is now gone I successfully sold it this morning I'm so happy I listed it for a really cheap price because I just wanted someone to come get it as soon as possible so yeah I now have some extra floor space I'm kind of liking having my computer upstairs at the moment definitely like not on this tiny little table but I am thinking of basically moving my entire workspace upstairs mostly because I don't like having it downstairs so since I'm doing a bedroom makeover soon anyway that is the tentative plan for now Guys, doesn't this look so legit? Mmm. Mm hmm. I have to find something to watch. a bit with the arrangement of my furniture instead of having the couch against the wall i've moved it forward a bit so that everything here is closer I've now made space for a little walkway behind the couch which i'm kind of liking at the moment this plan i've moved onto a stool in this corner and then also moved my mushroom lamp over there so when i turn on the light at night this area is going to be really cozy and warm that's pretty much it digging my new floorboards they feel so nice to walk on it's almost midday right now and i am starving so i'm gonna make myself a little food and then your girl has errands to run
the most stressful thing because after I put the table in the back, I didn't close the back door properly. Meters, keep left. And I didn't realize until I was on the highway. So I was just so stressed. And there were other drivers who noticed that it wasn't closed properly as well. And they were trying to signal at me. And I was like, I know, but I can't get off the car right now. So that was just a very stressful experience. But all sorted now. And I'm trying to make my way to Ikea. I made like three wrong turns already. So tell me this is the right way. to buy inserts for my shelves but the one that I want is out of stock so I can only pick up a lint roller today apparently it's bad to vacuum your rugs because it pulls out all the fibers but you can use a lint roller to pick up the dust so gonna give that a try picked up a chopping board it felt a little weird to leave a kill with just a lint roller Your license. Oh! <laughs> I finally got my license, guys. I haven't even taken it out yet. I like just got home earlier. Ooh! Ooh oh, it's nice red. license photo. Let me just cover like all yeah. my information. Yeah. Why is it not focusing? Please, do you guys see? Your girl has her license mm -hmm. now. Just walked Viv back home and I'm probably going to end this vlog here guys. I have a lot that I need to get done before I fly out to Melbourne next week. Including editing this video, I need to make sure I have this edited and uploaded before I get on that plane. So, if you guys enjoyed the vlog, next week's vlog will be a little delayed by the way because it's going to take me a while to go through all the Melbourne footage. But I am so looking forward to it. I haven't been on a plane in ages. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Just wanted to give you guys one last look at my living room right now. Isn't this so pretty? <laughs>